Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one we're going to be having a ton of fun because today we're going to be going through some of the weirdest things in Fortnite, some of the funniest things, the things that just make you go WTF a little bit and that'll make a little more sense like when we actually get into the first one but I'm talking about stuff like where the characters come from, weird things that show up on the map and like funny things that just don't make any sense as to why they're even there in the first place. So really, it is going to be a ton of fun. But yeah guys, if you do enjoy today's video, be sure to smack that like button down below especially if you're having fun with season five there's been so many cool things i know i've been having a great time and along with that how about comment down below what you think the funniest skin in the game is i want to know your opinion on it because i think the tomato head it's got to be tomato head right maybe it could be like cuddle team leader but that skin is just so hilarious so yeah leave that comment down below and without further ado let's jump on into it here the first one we have to go through is a great like showcase of what this video is going to be and was the inspiration for this video but you guys know when you're going through a house and stuff like that have you noticed that none of the houses actually have windows like obviously they have the spaces for the windows but they don't actually have like the glass inside of them like i especially noticed this when i was dropping at paradise palms and you can just run into the buildings from like practically anywhere you can just go straight through the windows there's nothing there to keep you from doing so which when you think about it is just so random why don't these people have windows why do they basically have their houses open to everybody around them which makes it even funnier considering that they have doors like why would you use the door right here if you can just run through the side of the house why not just have it open as well and like on top of that the ones that are actually windows the ones that look like you'd be able to like slide them open those don't have window panes as well so it is kind of a funny thing obviously on the technical side it's probably because you know epic games doesn't want to actually add that kind of effect into the game if you will of like windows breaking and stuff like that which makes sense but overall it is a weird thing to think about now after that then this is sort of like conspiracy time stuff because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense we don't know a whole ton about it and it has to do with like the story of Fortnite in general not so much like season 5 and stuff like that but just the overall of like what battle royale is so this one has to do with when you eliminate someone or get eliminated you get teleported away but have you ever thought about where you're actually getting teleported to I mean isn't that kind of weird where are the characters going where are the characters coming from when the characters show up on the starting island like are they teleported there and then they're put into the bus and then dropped on the map and then when they get eliminated they're teleported back i mean looking at that robot what is it doing now obviously we do know that the robot is from save the world which is used to like teleport people away from their objective and bring them back to the home base so maybe that's what's going on here i know there's been some theories before that people have thrown out there that battle royale is just like a uh, training ground for the people in save the world and hence the storm is still a thing in battle royale as it is in save the world so basically they're training the soldiers to fight zombies in the save the world world <laughs> within the battle royale world if that makes sense but either way that is pretty funny because they don't ever like address it are they directly getting teleported away i don't really know yet so leave your comments down below of what you think is kind of going on here because this is a pretty interesting thing that not a whole lot of people actually think about but let's move on here to another one and i kind of want to jump into game to show you guys this one but yeah, getting into game, I wanted to show you this one because as you can see right here, it has to do with the battle bus. That is right, the beautiful, well, this time around, the birthday battle bus with the awesome song going on. But what I think is kind of funny about this is that the battle bus, as you can see, we are in it, it is flying above the map. But when we jump out of it and go to the left down here towards this mountain, as you can see, I'll mark it on my map right there, exactly right there on that mountain. Next to Shifty Shafts, actually, if we go down there and the battle bus is still going up there if we look down here the battle bus is also down on this mountain as well so which is it is the battle bus in the air or is it on the ground now what's kind of funny about this one is it is the pre-birthday you know battle bus which would kind of make sense that it would be different but even before they did the birthday stuff this was like this and was actually kind of funny you may have noticed like a month ago they added all these random things like this thing on the front i think this like satellite they added all those things to the battle bus flying through the air and they did change it on this one down here but still there's two battle buses there's one flying up there and then one right over here and then also i think if you check the spawn island there's another one over there so there's technically a total of three battle buses on the map at one time that's just kind of so random to think about so i had to include that one because which is it epic which is the real battle bus we need to know oh well let's move on to the next one
But then after that, this one was actually suggested to us by one of my followers on Twitter. I tweeted out a quick thing asking for people's ideas and if they wanted to get their ideas featured in this video. So if you ever want to be a part of that, follow me on Twitter at the llama server. I love getting your guys' ideas and making these videos better because some of you come up with some crazy things. So big credit to this one goes to Zach12043610. But he said how everything is made of brick, wood, and metal and literally nothing else. Even if it appears to be made of something like plastic or glass, when you break it, you only get wood, brick, or metal. So it's safe to assume that everything is made up of those few materials, which is definitely pretty weird. Like some of the things I can think about that are especially kind of odd. And actually it is a little bit hard to think about. They sort of stray away from anything that looks plastic, like Epic Games does when they design a bunch of the things in the game. And then even when there is something plastic like this trash bag right here, it either gives you nothing as you can see, which kind of makes sense. But does that then mean that plastic doesn't exist in this world? I don't really know. Maybe I can give them a pass on on that one but also like when you hit these things right here these like what are they called traffic pylons traffic barrels whatever they're called these are always made out of plastic in real life but when you break them it gives you uh gives you metal yeah <laughs> So I don't know, it is a little bit funny to think about that literally everything you can break in this world apparently gives you only brick, wood, or metal. Literally nothing else. So random. But as for the next one here, this is one of my favorites of the video because if you go onto the map and you have to go over to this portion over here, it's a question I've been wondering for a while. It's been keeping me up at night because I just can't figure it out in my head. Why is there a motel on this island? Seriously, this one right here, this crappy rundown motel, why is it even here in the first place? Like honestly, these people live on an island. Who is going to want to stay at like a crappy motel in the middle of nowhere? Are the people on the island going to take a little vacation from their homes in Tomato Town in Pleasant Park and just go over here? I honestly don't really know because even if they do that, what is there to see over here? You're literally in the middle of Timbuktu nowhere. I mean, you've got this weird umbrella shaped, you know, rock place. I guess that's kind of cool. You've also got the uh, Junk Junction next to it, maybe some mountains, but I'm not really sure what else you would really want to see. Like there's literally no reason to go to this motel. Now I guess you could maybe say that maybe people are visiting the island itself and want to stay at the motel but even then it's a motel. How do they get onto the island and that's another thing maybe we should have talked about. I didn't even think about that. If people are coming to visit the island how are they getting to the island itself? There's no bridges. You could only really get there by helicopter and then on top of that do they deliver everything like all the food and stuff all the materials all the cars by helicopter? They can't do it by boat. I'm so confused guys but still this motel is like the epitome of that. There is no no reason for it to be here besides it being kind of a cool thing to look at on the map and actually going along the lines of that this next one I wanted to talk about has to do with like the people that live in this world as well have you ever taken a look outside of the island itself I mean obviously we have the spawn island but that's not that important instead if you take a look at the islands that are like way way farther out you can see that there is indeed like cities on them it's a little hard to make out and they're kind of just you know textures once you start to zoom in but there is something there there's lights out there especially I think you can see them at night but you zoom out there and wait a second wait I just noticed this actually the islands outside of the map just have like a picture of the Fortnite Battle Royale map just plastered on top of them that kind of switches up what I was going to say but that's even weirder I guess that's something to think about because like right there pretty sure that is that one mountain next to Fatal Fields right and then you look over here there's a bunch of other stuff that kind of doesn't really look familiar maybe this is instead from Save the World but like over there you also have the bridge that is in Battle Royale and I guess maybe like like Retail Row or like a version of Pleasant Park. Either way, one of the two, there's technically people living out there. I mean, at night, I'm pretty sure you can see like lights over there. So where are those people? Why are we only on this island and not over there instead? Are those people fighting a battle royale as well? Nobody really knows. And also, I guess on the other part of that that we just discovered, it is kind of funny that they reused just like a picture of the map itself and just plastered it onto the islands. Especially since like the big island over here has its own texture. Um, I don't really know. It's kind of funny to think about. But keeping it going here, we have to talk about something that's kind of an easter egg on the map a little bit and something that I noticed a while ago but haven't really had like the perfect video to show you guys so if we go into like theater right here and bring you towards um this area of the map up here there's kind of other locations where this shows up a little bit but like right up here is the main place that I saw this and it is kind of funny but like on the outside of the map there's these random weird things like this line of trees that gets taller as they go along there's six trees here the one that starts out they get pretty small and then they slowly get bigger and bigger until you get to the biggest one on the end and that's just uh very 
odd tree formation just to be on the outside of the map. Now on top of that, there's also like a weird one over here. Or I guess this one isn't trees, it's more rocks, but it's funny how there's just a bunch of rocks like lining this curve on the side of the hill of this little trail, which definitely signifies that Epic Games was getting a little bit bored and they wanted to add some random stuff. And you know what? Actually, I think they removed the one I was going to go and show you. There used to be a place that is now covered in paradise palms. All that beautiful stuff. There used to be a place that was like a triangle of trees. Oh no, they replaced it right here. That's actually kind of funny. They replaced it with cactuses that are now in a triangle. That's pretty hilarious, actually. A triangle of cactuses where it used to be a triangle of those like pine trees. So that is pretty funny, but I wanted to show you those because it is kind of weird that Epic Games decided to add such random little things onto the map. But there's one last thing I want to talk about here, and it has to do with Spawn Island. Beautiful, beautiful Spawn Island. The thing that so many people have tried to get back to during the game for some reason. I don't know. But what's even funnier about this one, we talked a little bit about how the main island, like how does anybody get, you know, supplies there unless it's self-sustaining. But then when you think about that same exact thing, but with the Spawn Island, it gets even worse. I mean, literally, the only things that are on the Spawn Island are a hangar, a few trees here and there, and a uh, training area. Yeah, there's really nothing else. So there's like nowhere to store food. There's no like refrigerator anywhere. And I guess you could say, well, it's just a place for them to like practice. They just fly in, drop people off, and then fly away. But then again, like, why would you even fly here? What is the point of flying to this island if there's nothing there? There's also like random containers there. It's just kind of a funny thing to think about. I don't know. I had to add it in. And that is going to be the final thing of this video that I kind of just thought was pretty weird. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this coming up in the near future. Along with that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, going through seven new changes in the recent updates, and then on the right, five new leaked things coming soon, as well as something that might be coming in tomorrow's update. Not 100% sure yet. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.